バイリンガルウェブマガジン DIG 東京のディレクターを務めるカズーこと G ・カズオペニアです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法へようこそ。DIG 東京は8つのカテゴリーのコラムを日本語と英語で併記しているウェブマガジンです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法は僕がこれまでの翻訳や通訳の仕事を通して培ったさまざまな英語上達についてのノウハウをレッスン形式にまとめたもので、読む、書く、聞く、話すという4つのスキルが身につくと思います。ディグ東京のビジネスやライフスタイルに関するコラムのテキストを用いるのでビジネスですぐに使える英語力や旅行や海外での生活に役立つ英会話力がつきますディグ東京のテキストと YouTube の動画を使ったこのレッスンを繰り返すことで大学受験のための英語力はもちろんのこと TOEIC、TOEFL、英検などの試験のための英語力もどんどんつくことでしょうではこのレッスンの方法について説明しますまずは DIG 東京のテキストのページと YouTube の動画をタブや別ウィンドウを使って両方ともすぐ見られる状態にしてくださいそうしたら DIG 東京の日本語のテキストだけをまず先に読んでください次に英語のテキストだけを読んでください英語のテキストでわからない英単語や熟語をネット検索を使って自分で調べてみましょうもちろんわからない日本語があればそれもチェックしてください次に英語のテキストをもう一度読んでみてください。これで予習が終了です。ここからこの動画によるレッスンを行います。この YouTube の動画を再生させて英語を聞きながら DIG 東京の英語テキストを目読してください。次に英語テキストを見ないでこの YouTube の動画だけを見ながら英語をよく聞いてください。最後に YouTube の音声に合わせて英語テキストを音読してください。以上のステップを繰り返すことで、英語の表現力、読解力、ヒアリング力、スピーキング力が確実に上達するはずです。2回目以降のレッスンの際には、この画面の下にあるもっと見るを開いて、テキストの朗読のところをクリックしてください。すぐにテキスト本文を読み上げる部分に行けます。今回は、Language and Ensemble 006、My Don't Worry He Won't Get Far on Foot Interview with Director Gus Van Sant。の英語のテキストを朗読します。世界発信 SNS 英語術のロケでガスバンサント監督へのインタビューを行った時の感想と衣装について紹介しました。楽しみながらレッスンしましょう。One reflections on my interview. Last week on the show, we aired my interview with director Gus Van Sant. I had the opportunity to speak with him when he came to Japan to promote his new film. Don't worry, he won't get far on foot. To general audiences, Gus Van Sant is most famous for directing the 1997 film Good Will Hunting. But that film is better characterized as a breakthrough for then unknown Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, who wrote the script and starred in the film. In terms of Van Sant's oeuvre, the film is the exception rather than the rule. Asterisk 1. Matt Damon is an American actor, screenwriter, and movie producer. He penned Good Will Hunting together with his childhood friend Ben Affleck when they were both still relative unknowns as actors. After years of trying to get the movie to come together, they succeeded and were catapulted into fame. Asterisk 2. Ben Affleck is an American actor, screenwriter, and movie director. He is known for his acting work in a variety of genres, including comedy, drama, action, and superhero films. His 2012 film Argo won the Academy Award for Best Picture. Goodwill Hunting. Set in Boston, Massachusetts, the film is the story of a young man with a genius level IQ who is held back by childhood trauma and the attempts of a psychiatrist to get him to open up. The screenplay won an Academy Award and a Golden Globe, among other awards, and was Van Sant's mainstream breakthrough. Asterisk 3. The Golden Globes are an American awards ceremony that recognizes the year's best movies and TV dramas. The winners are decided based on a vote by the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Van Sant first garnered attention for his work as a director of independent and art films, such as 1991's My Own Private Idaho. Goodwill Hunting was his mainstream breakthrough, garnering him an Academy Award nomination for Best Director. However, he later returned to directing art house films. The perspective of the outsider is a common theme in Van Sant's work. Van Sant's protagonists are the kind of characters rarely given a voice in mainstream films. Don't worry, he won't get far on foot 
is the story of a quadriplegic cartoonist suffering from alcohol addiction, while Elephant, which chronicles two bullied high school kids who embark on a school shooting rampage, is based in part on the Columbine High School Massacre. Van Sant is perhaps best regarded for his work that deals with homosexuality. 1991's My Own Private Idaho, one of his earliest films, is the coming-of-age story of two male prostitutes living in Portland, Oregon, where Van Sant himself grew up. 2008's Milk is a biopic chronicling the life of gay activist and politician Harvey Milk in 1970s San Francisco, a center of gay culture. As an openly gay man, the theme of being an outsider is one that he has, in more ways than one, lived himself. Asterisk 4. Harvey Milk was an American gay rights activist. He was elected to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in 1977, but was shot and killed by a fellow council member less than a year later. Rewatching Van Sant's films in preparation for the interview and talking to the man himself has made me reflect on what it means to be an outsider. In the U.S., where rebels and outlaws have traditionally been romanticized and celebrated, outsiders have a place in society, albeit as outsiders. And outsiders are given the freedom to forge their own path and achieve success. It's only natural that a country founded on the pioneer spirit would hold those who stick to their guns in the face of opposition in high regard. It is precisely that social climate that has cultivated larger-than-life figures like eccentric Apple founder Steve Jobs and gay pop art icon Andy Warhol. In contrast, Japan is a murashakai, where peer pressure results in outsiders being expelled and exterminated as threats to the social order. Murashakai dynamics are why the Japanese indie scene is given little recognition, and luminaries commensurate to the aforementioned ones from the West are few and far between. If you get a chance to watch Don't Worry, You Won't Get Far on Foot, or any of Van Sant's films, pay a close attention to how he depicts outsiders. Asterisk 5. Murashakai is a Japanese term that means village society. Village societies are characterized by rigid, hierarchical social structures that emphasize order and are hostile to strangers. Asterisk 6. Peer pressure is the direct influence on people by peers or the effect on an individualist who gets encouraged to follow their peers by changing their attitudes, values, or behaviors to conform to those of the influencing group or individual. Wikipedia. 2. Gus Van Sant's Profile Gus Van Sant is an American movie director, screenwriter, photographer, and musician. He was born in Kentucky, in the east-south central region of the U.S., and grew up in Portland, Oregon, on the West Coast. After graduating from art school, he got his start making television commercials. He made his feature-length directorial debut in 1985, and is known for work that spotlights the marginalized, addressing themes such as homosexuality, disabilities, and blue-collar workers. His 2003 film Elephant won the Palme d'Or, as well as the Best Director Award at the Cannes Film Festival. Three. Selected Gus Van Sant Filmography My Own Private Idaho This coming-of-age tale depicts the struggles of two young men living on the streets and working as prostitutes in Portland, Oregon. River Phoenix was praised in particular for his work, winning awards for Best Actor and Best Male Lead at the Venice Film Festival, the National Society of Film Critics Awards, the Independent Spirit Awards, and more. Asterisk 7 River Phoenix was an American actor and musician. He made his breakthrough with Stand By Me and became one of the iconic teen idols of the era. In 1993, he died at the age of 23, after collapsing due to a drug overdose. His younger brother Joaquin is a Golden Globe Award-winning actor. Asterisk 8. The National Society of Film Critics is an American film critic organization with roughly 60 members who give out their annual awards in January. Elephant. This drama is based on the Columbine High School Massacre, which took place on April 20th, 1999. Van Sant does not dramatize, nor does he attempt to shine a light on possible motivations or assign meaning to these tragedies. Instead, he depicts the meaninglessness and senselessness of school shootings. This film won the Palme d'Or, as well as the Best Director Award, at the 56th Cannes Film Festival. 
Asterisk 9. The Cannes Film Festival is one of the big three international movie festivals, held every year in May. In 2018, it held its 71st edition. The most coveted prize is known as the Palme d'Or. Milk. This biopic depicts the final eight years of the life of Harvey Milk, who spoke out against social inequality and fought for gay civil rights in San Francisco. The film won the award for Best Actor and Best Original Screenplay, among others, at the 81st Academy Awards. Asterisk 10. Civil rights are rights to personal liberty established by the 13th and 14th Amendments to the U.S. Constitution in certain congressional acts, especially as applied to an individual or a minority group, via dictionary.com. Don't worry, he won't get far on foot. This biopic is the story of John Callahan, an alcoholic slacker living in Portland, Oregon, who becomes paralyzed in all four limbs in a car accident. Struggling to overcome his drinking habit, he regains purpose in his life when he starts drawing satirical cartoons. 4. My wardrobe for the interview. Tweed jacket by Ralph Lauren. Brooks Brothers white button-down shirt. Black knitted tie by Brooks Brothers. Brown belt by Brooks Brothers. Red corduroys by Brooks Brothers. Orange socks by Tabio. Chukka boots by Red Wing. M27 glasses by Four Nines. Five, notes from my stylist Scarlett on this ensemble. For this interview, Kazoo was interviewing director Gus Van Sant, so I chose an ensemble that evokes a journalist from the 80s. Tweed jacket, white button-down shirt, and black knitted tie. That's an 80s journalist if I ever saw one. Normally, I would match a pair of khaki-colored chinos with this ensemble to go with the theme, but this is 2019, so I decided instead to opt for brick red corduroy pants. I chose orange socks and beautiful reddish-brown chukka boots to complement the pants. I chose orange socks and beautiful reddish-brown chukka boots to complement the pants. I don't often see people pulling off chukka boots here in Japan, but most European gentlemen will likely own a pair, much like the Duke of Windsor in the 1920s and 30s. The leather shoes were originally meant for the sport of polo, so they give off a casual vibe and tend to go better with something like a tweed jacket rather than a suit. Asterisk 11. The Duke of Windsor, also known as King Edward VIII, was the king of the UK between January 20th, 1936 and December 11th, 1936. He is also remembered for abdicating the throne to marry a divorced American socialite. The knitted tie and button-down shirt also give off a rough, casual look, favored by liberal journalist types. Ijo. Language and Ensemble 006. My Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot interview with director Gus Van Sant. No Eigo no Tekisto or Dokshimashta. Ikaga de Staka? Gus Van Sant no Ega wa Amerika Shakai no Kiru Outsider ni Suite or Hitotu no Tema to Stamus. Tokuni Kiji de Shokai Sta Ega wa Boku no Susume des. Kikai Gareba, Mite Mite Kudasai. Kono Contents ga Kini Tara, YouTube no Kono Doga no Midi Sta ni Aru Botan Kara, Channel Toro Ko Zehi Okana de Kudasai. テキストの最後にある Facebook、Twitter、Instagram のアイコンから、ディグ東京の公式アカウントに入り、フォローしてください。ご意見、ご要望がありましたら、YouTube や SNS のコメント欄にご記入ください。www.digtokyo.jp